Hopefully enough. All right. On a problem like this, we have x minus a negative 74. One thing I want you guys to remember is whenever we have two negative signs um, next to each other, they're kind of canceling each other out. And what we can do is we can actually rewrite the problem. Um, you know, a lot of times in English, you say don't, not. Those are double negatives. It cancels out, right? Well, the same thing. If you're minusing a negative, it's the same. It's, those pretty much are canceling out. So a lot of times whenever we have two negatives, we can just make it positive. So I'm going to rewrite my equation now into x plus 74 equals a negative 22. Now, using my inverse operations, I have to undo whatever's happening to my variable. So I see my variable, because remember, my x is what I'm solving for, so I'm going to undo what's happening to it. So if it's being added by 74, I'm now going to subtract 74. And whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. All right, so 22, a negative number minus a negative number, is kind of like adding them and knowing the answer is going to be negative. So these cancel out to become 0, so I'm just left with x equals um, negative 22 minus 74. Remember, if they're both negative, you can just add them up and you know your answer is going to be negative. So that would be a negative 96. So that's how you solve um, that problem when you have two negatives right next to each other. Let's just make videos today.